Hello Makeup Void, I am the Makeup Schizophrenic and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the eyeshadow palette tag, who's the creator of it? I cannot remember, but I will link her channel down below. And I originally saw this video done by Butte Bean, so um, that was the first time I saw this tag and then I saw Angelica Neef Kiss and Katie Marie do this tag as well. So the whole, it's, it's just a tag video. There's eight questions to it. And the way Katie Marie and Angelica did it is by when they answered the question, they then applied a shadow from that palette to their eyes and created a look with it. And when I first saw Katie Marie do it, I was like, that's horrifying. Like even for crazy colorful eyeshadow palette, me, even though I did relatively simple look, can't see it, but I did it um, today. Um, I love to play with color. Color, eyeshadow, and bold looks is my jam. And Kay Marie answered the questions in the order. And then so she kind of had to just kind of pick the shadows as they went. And when I was compiling my answers, I, then I watched Angelica's video where she answered the question completely out of order to use um, the shadows within the palette to create, like to do the way that she normally creates eyeshadow looks. So I wasn't going to do this eyeshadow application with this tag, but then I saw her do it and kind of gave myself, I felt like she gave me the permission that I didn't need to do the same sort of deal. So I will be following in their footsteps and creating an eyeshadow look with the tag, the palette tag answers. And I'm going to do Angelica's way where I do all of the questions out of order. I will link down below Betty Jean's The Creators video, um, Angelica and Katie's Marie videos down in the description box, as well as the questions in the correct order. So before we get into everything, um, yes, this is, I, I deleted the footage of the intro to this video. So hence the headset webcam um, RGB headset lighting. But before we get into this video, if you would like to give this video a like, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I do upload three days a week on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So stay tuned, stay tuned for this video and all of my future videos where I do, for the most part, crazy bold eyeshadow looks. And yeah let's let's get into the application now so i don't spend hours filming this video being indecisive because one of my biggest things with filming tutorial looks is that i don't know what i'm doing so i actually did prep a little bit of time so we're going out of order and i'm going to start with the question if i could pick an eyeshadow palette that represents the grunge dark in me and I'm a little bit cheating. I know I'm starting off the bat with cheating, but stay with me because I am going with, you can't tell. I depotted all three of my ABH palettes late last year and I put them all in this little magnetic palette. So I have a lot of subculture, I have sultry, and I have a little bit of modern renaissance. And so when I think dirt grunge, it, I had to go with subculture. Like, just period, hands down. Like, for me, there's no other option than subculture. So I'm going to specifically go into a subculture shadow. And I'm going to pick this dark um, teal blue. It kind of depends on how it looks on the eyes. But I'm going to go with this color. And the goal I have for this look is, stay with me, I'm going to call it Cotton Candy Crunch. And I don't know if this is, like, the OG like subculture formula. I did not get this palette right away, um, even though like the color story spoke to me completely. I don't know how I'm going to keep this palette open. Oh, part of the salmon color from the... I have no idea how I'm going to keep this palette open. Oh, the salmon cherry color from the subculture palette broke a little bit. I'm not surprised. I haven't really used this palette since I broke all the palettes down. I'm gonna keep this to the out of, outer corner. I'm gonna have to somehow keep... I'm probably gonna go back into each of these shadows. By the way, there are eight questions. So I have these eight shadows on my eyes, which for me is kind of child's play. But I'm gonna kind of poke this, poke, kind of keep this towards like the outer corner of my eye. I think I'm gonna use other eyeshadows to blend into it. So we're gonna just go like this. And if the camera angle, my face looks weird, is because one one part of my hand is only in a contact and the other side is keeping the palette lid open. So, but yeah, whenever I use subculture, like, I didn't reach for it like, 
the greatest amount even though I really adored the palette. It was just like I'd go in there for like a couple shadows which would be this dark teal or like the dark green and then I would maybe use another shadow or something and then go into other palettes. Like I, I just loved this green. See I know what I want to do but now I'm like confronted with like how do I actually go about it with the palettes that I have. So I'm going to go next into question number two, which is if I could pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents me in terms of packaging, and it's going to be the DH, PH, DH, no, it's going to be the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm Palette. I, this palette spoke to me, like packaging wise, like the dark black and like we have like the purple and blue and pink kind of spraying everywhere, like grunge and colors, like this is me in a palette but this palette for me was so disappointing and I just uh, the shimmers in here are absolute trash I'm gonna go into the gray shade called zero gravity and I'm gonna kind of blend that up above where I put the teal from the um, subculture ish and I'm just kind of use this to blend it up I cannot just use the gray we're gonna have to go into something else um it doesn't help that I did a all blue look today for work, so my eyes are already kind of stained blue and gray and this is not helping. We are going to go in actually for, where are I changing things? I'm going to go into the purple shade, Astral, Astrid Lush, Lust, Astrid Lush, and we're going to kind of put that, let's see, this look is already going to be a disaster. You know, it probably wasn't a good idea to go into the brush that I use Zero Gravity, the gray shadow with and then change my mind and then go into the purple shadow. Oops, okay. I think we're gonna go into question seven, which is if I, if I could pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents fun. And I'm gonna go with the Pure X Rock Beauty Christie palette. And yeah. Uh, this this was the hardest question to answer because it's just like what there's so many palettes I have that I think are fun But I decided to go with this one because first of all the packaging how uh, Rob Beauty Christie like designed everything on the outside as her own, but you do have the all matte side There it is you have the all matte side, but then you have the all colorful side and so I think this palette is fun because you can do whatever you want with it. You can do a bright, obnoxious color story, play with colors like over here, or if you want to jazz things up, kind of keep it soft and subtle, you can do that as well. I think this palette is fun because of all the ways you can take it. And of course, we're going to go for the colorful side. And because I want to do kind of candy, we're going to take the hot pink shade called Side Effect. Okay. Like, she explained all of the shadows in her reveal video, and I don't really remember what any of them are at this point. I didn't really use this palette last year. Hot Zing. Oh my gosh. We're gonna keep the pink pretty low. I kind of just want to, like, grab the purple also in this palette and just bring that in and just try to, like, cover up um, the Celestial Storm. I mean, there were just so many ways. I could have gone with this question like <laughs> I buy a lot of eyeshadow palettes because I think they're fun I haven't been topping off my brush with the shadow and I'm getting pink all down the side of my nose question number three if I could pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents spring and when I did the um, palette recommendations video for spring I, I decided to go with the palette that immediately came to my mind first when I thought about it and it is the Violet Ball Sugar Crystals palette because it's just so bright and happy and it's a rainbow palette but I love it. I pretty much could have done the majority of this look with this palette because I could have used the purple jelly bean and bubble gum. Now I'm going to go into the blue, blue razz and I'm going to go back to my compact so it's something lighter to hold and this is the blood brush I used earlier with blue so we're just going to keep going with that. And let's get some kick up on blue razz, please. And we're gonna put this kind of on the outside. I'm just gonna cover all of that. <laughs> we're just gonna cover all of that teal and gray with blue razz. Grungy cotton candy, am I right guys? Am I right? Question number four. 
if I could choose an eyeshadow palette that represents happy. And this one is pretty much I had to. And that is the ColourPop Little Ray of Sunshine palette. Because I bought this palette because it makes me happy. That is the reason why I bought this. Because I love sunflowers. And it sunflowers make me happy. And is it kind of going against the whole like cotton candy vibe? Like I know. I know. But I had to pick a palette that made me happy. And this is... Pretty much I bought this palette because it did make me happy every time I look at it. And I, and I it does. I, I need something literally to weigh down these palettes so they don't flop open. My brands don't... Like, I have a love-hate relationship when brands don't put mirrors in palettes. Because now I... Oh, I'm going to take the, um, the brightest yellow sunnies. And I'm going to put that, like, above the pink. So it's going to have a little bit of sunshiny yellow to it and it's gonna turn orange why did I expect anything different of sunflowers they are my absolute favorite flower they bring me so much joy anything I see with sunflowers on it like my heart races and I'm like I should buy it I won't but I want to should so I took a little bit of a break and this is where we're at this is exactly why I don't try to bring eyeshadow underneath my eyes that much, this much, because this is, this looks like a black eye. But we are going to keep rolling with it. And next question, I feel like this is question number eight. I was watching YouTube as I was kind of doing the rest of this. Um, no. So question number seven is an eyeshadow, if I could pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents girly. And I know this is kind of like, a, I feel like this color story is cop out, but I mean, look at my face right now. Um, I'm going to go with the BH Cosmetics Sweet Chape Cotton Candy Palette. Yeah, it's purple and pink. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm going to, so I, before I start rambling, I'm going to go into the shade, like this light mid purple shade, sugar. And I've already um, did like kind of a half cut crease using glitter primer. Um, yeah, glitter primer has been like my life this past, like year or so just like totally getting into using glitter primer like I used to always cut my eye uh cut crease with concealer and then I slowly just started doing like um glitter primer instead and it's just totally rocked my world totally so we're gonna put this mostly on the lid where I did the cut crease and I chose this palette for something a palette that represents girly to me is because color story and like when I think about girly I think about being like young and youthful and ice cream like eating a shit ton of ice cream like what's more girly and young and youthful than just like eating an inappropriate amount of ice cream I think yeah we're gonna do it okay so the last question which is like question number wait is it eight or nine questions Question number eight. If I could pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represented inspiration. Odin's Eye Norns palette. For like multiple reasons. First of all, the color story just makes me want to play with everything all at once. I love it. But what I also love about this in terms of inspiration is the shade names. So shadows like Days and Realism. Like I had like a philosophical moment during my palette bingo with this because it's like outsider and charming and glamour just like all of the names in and, of, in and of themselves brings me inspiration um so it's more than just the color story and I need another brush oh my goodness I did not keep enough flat shader brushes I am just coming to terms with that right now this is kind of clean so we're gonna go into the shade shade self this light purpley blue duochrome moment down here oh hell yeah this is gonna be beautiful yep i love it okay self it is okay so the reason why i've been like so hell bent on using glitter primer is because the fallout from these special shadows like i love how formulas are getting so new and crazy and unique but there is a price to pay and the price is Fallout. So much fallout. Um, so I'm just trying to pack this on as much as I can. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. 
I feel like I know like this palette brings me inspiration, but then I see self and I just want to only use this shadow. Like if I could just like if I lost this palette and I had to repurchase it, I would just buy it for self. You know? Alright, so coming full circle. Going to question number one. If I could pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents me in terms of color story. Yeah. The Angelica Neef Kiss collab with Kaleidos, the Club Nebula palette. Okay, I know this was like her collab and her dream color story, but it's mine too. The dark blues and greens and these purples, not so much like this last row, but like these top two rows, absolutely a thousand percent me. And I love this palette so much. Oh my gosh. Like I, I feel like this entire tag, I could have just said this palette. I could have just said Kaleidos. Really, that's all I could have done. I could have just made this so incredibly easy for myself if I just said this palette from the get-go. Then I wouldn't have maybe had this dynamic what the F moment. So, uh, I need to, I need to bring some brightness. I don't know. Uh, I think I, I want to use Astro. Like, I was saving this palette for last because I was going to try to figure out how to make Astro work. And I just don't think it's going to happen. I think I'm going to have to go for You're My Only Hope. Which actually makes the most sense because today is May the 4th be with you. May the 4th, 4th. Force, I hate the word force. I hate the word fourth. I hate announcing it. We're gonna slap this in the inner corner. Yep, that's perfection. Perfection. What better shadow to use today than you're my only hope. Okay, that is the last shadow. I'm going to do some major damage control by cleaning up my under eyes. We're gonna do blush, we're gonna do highlighter. Gotta do my wing dye layer, so I'm gonna do all that and we'll wrap this video up. So we finished the look. I did purple eyeliner in the lower lash line, the LA Girl, the LA Girl, not the LA Colors, the LA Girl Shockwave purple eyeliner. I think it's, oh, it's called Vivid Technically. So I did that in the lower lash line, blush, highlighter, all the jazz. And now we're going to go into this Noble Energy Merch Lipstick. Literally in the pack, still plastic packaging. I wanted to shave, save I wanted to save this whole experience for the camera. I am really scared. So Noble Energy no longer exists as a company. Um, it was bought out by a larger company and then my husband was contracted by that company to um, renovate like the networking infrastructure of that. Um, the Noble Energy building. So I, my husband said that Noble Energy was officially bought out like four months ago or something. So I don't know how old this is. Um, I'm scared. Okay, I can't. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Smells like nothing. Look at that one. That one is itty bitty. Oh my gosh, this is tiny. Um, it's just kind of like a sheer wash of pink. I'm still, I'm still really scared though to put this on my lips, but we're gonna, we're gonna try it. I mean, it doesn't feel bad on my, what, on my hand, and it doesn't look like an awful color. I just wouldn't want to recommend, be like, hey, like, my favorite lip gloss is something from a defunct, um, oil company. So I have a spinny chair and that's why the background changed because my chair spun. Um, so this is the lip. Um, it's very sheer. The wand is very dry. It's uncomfortable to put the lip gloss on, but I don't hate it. Like it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell like anything. Um, Yeah, it pretty much just makes my lips look really glittery and sparkly on it. So I'm actually going to try this out a few more times. Honestly, it's just very underwhelming. Very underwhelming. This probably cost 10 sec. This probably cost maybe five cents to make. Um, definitely really cheap, but like also like very sturdy. Like this cap is screwed on tight, but like, yeah, like just, it's just, 
it doesn't feel like bad like on my lips it's not like that old school like uncomfortably sticky this is why i won't wear lip gloss kind of lip gloss i mean yeah it's pretty much just glitter it's pink glitter that's all this is so uh, <laughs> don't know what to say about that that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching um all of the tag questions will be down in the description box as well as all of the palettes that i use in today's look with the exception of the club oh wait Oh shoot, this palette's discontinued too. Okay, these palettes have been discontinued, so sorry. Everything else will be linked down below. Um, but tell me how your day has been, because my day has been pretty, it's pretty chaotic, pretty weird. Um, last hour of the day, I pretty much hid from people and it was great, because I still got paid to hide from people. It's fantastic. Uh, so <laughs> I was hanging out with coworkers, not um, hiding. I was hiding from patients, not from co not from everybody. Anyways, that's awkward. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I upload three days a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And have a good day, guys, and also have joy.